Hey guys, what's up? We are back playing some more Empyrean Galactic Survival. Now I know in the last stream slash episode it cut off in the middle of something, which that was just unfortunate because uh, my internet cut off for like a few minutes. It does that sometimes, which is always annoying when it happens while I'm streaming and I was actually in a fight. When that happened, so my character got killed while my internet got cut off. But I had already went back down there, got my stuff back, and killed the one enemy that was in the way off camera. But I have not done anything else, and I have just gone back outside. I don't know why it's glitching out like that, that's fine. So we can go back down here and I hope that nothing respawned while I was gone. I think all the electricity is back on, so we probably can go back outside, but I'd like to give this inside place another once over because all probably all the doors outside are open. But before we get to that. I just want to say that I am streaming this, but I am trying out a new technique uh, for this, which is I am streaming, but the stream is private right now, so no one can actually watch the stream. I'm just streaming to nobody because I was thinking I would like the convenience of streaming and not having to spend hours upon hours and hours trying to save and then uh, upload a video, which it takes forever. Now, uploading would be fi uh, fast, but rendering a video out, saving it, whatever, editing it, saving it, takes centuries, especially if it's several hours long for me. So, I want to skip that whole process, which you stream, but then if you don't want to deal with the anxiety of streaming and being in the public view, basically, you can stream privately and then make the video go up public afterwards so i'm trying out this technique so if anyone out there is was hadn't realized you could do that well you can now you will not now you can stream privately and just have the video go up publicly so it's basically just i'm just recording a video right now i just happen to be streaming it and i get the convenience of just letting it go up once it's done but obviously not all my streams are going to be like this i'm just wanting to test it out for this so i don't feel like uh being alive live right now Is that... Because there still might be enemies in here because it's making the sound like there's an enemy. Or just guys in general. I don't see anything. and we know, I know I can't break any of this stuff. Without C4, perhaps. Like, I feel like... I guess it's nothing. I've... I thought there might be like chests in there. Oh, there's one there. You know, this area just has sounds baked into it. Yeah, there's no enemies, so I guess let's just open up this treasure chest. Uh, magnesium, nice. A whole lot of iron. A uh, shotgun that we don't need. Oh, a drill for. What's this for? The hover vessel, and, and some more night vision goggles. Don't know if anything's going on up there. There could be. There probably is a chest hidden up there. Who knows? There's probably something just hitting in the walls, or hidden in the walls as well. I'm barely over uh, encumbered right now. Okay, let's go back up. It's going to be a bit difficult to navigate since we're over encumbered. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening here, why it's hard for me to jump. Access the armored door. Do you need to flip a switch for this? Maybe I had to go to the front first. I 
Oh, can't open this door either. Okay, so that must mean we have to do more stuff downstairs. There's something up there, actually. There's more we have to do downstairs. Can't quite get up there either without... Oh, actually, do I have to open that door to then be able to jump over there to that panel? Or do I even need to do that? Question mark? Oh, I've never looked in this one before. Explore coin for that. Just make sure I look through all of these. I've already looked at that. I think I looked at that on camera. You type discovered cobalt. Let's go back down. I think I looked through all of this, right? As requested several times, I have stored all military relevant findings on the artifacts as well as the risk assessment on our operation. An internal error occurred. Please insert a short description in the... Thinky, okay, that doesn't matter. Uh, the entries can be accessed by all consoles and network, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully I'm not going to add any of the science reports, though. I think we already read this before. This is old news. We have the log one. We still don't have the next one. So that turns on all the lights, but couldn't have it seen anything or anywhere else to go. I guess I can clearly see up there. There's nothing there, I guess. Did I miss a door? I mean, I had to, right? Because you can still hear a monster somewhere. Maybe there really is nothing left here. I figure turning on the power is something we need to do, but there just really isn't that much here. We don't know where the core is. That's a problem. Actually, can I... I can't click P to gain access to this area's stuff, so... Oh, Tails of Tosh. Exactly what we have been looking for. Damaged private data device found. Reconstruction of the information in the buffer memory blah, blah, should, yes. 30 days ago, the obelisk suddenly lit up. Invisible voices have started to speak to us, repeating the same sentence over and over. pro eh gen What does that mean? Nothing else has happened since then, but these voices are haunting me to sleep. I had a strange dream the other night, a dark room with strange moving lights. They were almost humanoid. Is that what these progenitors are? I guess, is that what these progenitors are? There is activity on the other artifacts as well. Sometimes they switch on and off. I might need to get some rest and first and foremost get out of here. It seems that the voices that can be heard around the moon are especially strong near to or inside the obelisks. That's two out of 16. I don't know if there's going to be any more on the actual other moons around this gas giant. That's what I thought. You can't change the structure with the bolty tool. Is it without or with? You cannot change the structure with the multi-tool. So yeah, power's on. We just can't actually go to anything. There's nowhere else to go here. 
That doesn't go in anywhere. This is all dead ends. I'm just gonna give this place one last sweep. Nothing there, nothing there. Like, it should be here. Maybe it's, like, inside one of these things, but just can't get to it. So I guess we can just go. Maybe look, have a little bit of a look around outside again, but then... I guess we could just go back to base now. So was there anything else over here? It sounds like it's right there, but wherever it is, we can't get to it. These are not real ladders. Oof. I guess we'll have to come back here with a jetpack to get up to there, then, since we can't open that door, and that's really the only door we need to open, right? No other doors matter, except for this one, question mark, which... Actually, can we just get in there? Oh, no. Can't get in, because it's a, another faction. Maybe, maybe we can use this panel to unlock everything. Okay, ever since the thing in the solar suddenly came to life, nothing has gone right. Breakdowns and equipment malfunctions are becoming more frequent. I hear a voice in my head saying uh, that. We have again urged Tosh for information, but she seems unavailable at the moment. We have provisionally sealed the entrance and isolated the console up here from the network so that we can at least still maintain operations. I hardly think that will do any good in case of doubt. No one dares to go down there anymore. Unfortunately, the main power switch is down there. Which I have flipped already. But. See, so yeah, I think it does want us to get up there. But even with this switch flipped, there's no way to get any of these doors open because of dumb faction stuff. Cannot access automatic door. Couldn't really make that jump, anyways. None of these windows are open either, I don't think. So we'd have to just come back with C4, I think, or something. I don't think I'm actually missing anything. Right, let's get into here, and we need to figure out where we need to go. So we're pointing there, we need to go, like, straight up. Uh, was it a Y? Just spin around so I face the right way. Lead opposite direction. So it's like straight that way, so straight north is where it is, so we can remember that. Unfortunately... The dumb hover mechanics. Specifically this bike, I think, is just really bad. I'm trying to keep the nose as high up as possible. So that it doesn't crash anything. 
You just have to like keep the nose really high up. Power is fine, though we don't have a lot of juice in here. I'm guessing because this is what you call it. This should still have been going all that time, though. Yeah, we got a bunch of fuel. I don't know if I want to waste it in that, just because of how trash that is. Let's just put that there. Cobalt, silicone, magnesium, iron needs to go in there. We have all these buds for planting. Put that in there. The wood, this stuff. Plant fibers could go in there too. I think that's it. I'm gonna put the Bare night goggles in there. We need to figure out how to, well, not figure out how to. We just need to plant them in general. Uh, do I need to unlock that? Would be for the base. It's one of these. We don't have nutrient solution. Nutrient solution is here somewhere. Correct. Purified water. Aluminum powder. I swear, solution should be here somewhere, right? It's not gonna be there. It's O2 bottle. I guess you can't just get nutrient solution here. Unless you can maybe get it here. But I... You know, there it is. It's in food. You have to have something that makes food. Stone dust, purified water, and spoiled food. Which we have a lot of. So let's actually... Make... I'm actually getting pretty hungry, which I only have a bar, apparently, to eat. We need to make a food processor, which we have enough to make. It's probably gone bad because, yeah, 12, 3, 3 on the eggs, eggs are almost gone. Okay, food processor's done, take that. Output is a uh, four here, because all that stuff's in there anyways. So nutrient solution. We need stone dust and purified water, but we don't have any water. I don't think we can even make purified water here. Oddly enough. Oh, we can make seeds here.
Yeah, no purified water there, which is annoying, because that means we have to make it here. We need a water container to make a water container. We need ice blocks. But you can just get it from the uh, thing as well. We actually need to make a water thingy, but... I can make it here, can't I? I can make it just on me, even, right? Yeah, water and O2 thing. Which we need carbon substrate, so I guess I'll just make it on me. Make a couple, maybe. We're almost out of carbon substrate, actually. That sucks. So I guess I'm only going to be making one. Okay, that's going to take a second. Okay, not even halfway done yet of that, but... Should be fine. Actually, I need to go back and get the biofuel. Actually, do I have it on me or did I put it away? Yeah, no, I did in fact not have it. I put it away. That's not really going take us very far, but I think it's fine. Okay, got that. Let's put this under the water. Even though we can't see. I think I put it down. Where's my light on? There. Source quality 18% is pretty bad, isn't it? So 18. Let's just leave that and hope for the best. Okay, let's see about actually making a decent ship. So I want a craft. Let's just go with what they gave us as options. We look at whatever is the lowest amount of time to make. Some of these are taking too long, so 26 minutes. I think there's something over here, like 22, 21. So that one's 21. This one's 16, which is like one of the better ones to make, but I think it's actually kind of hard to use. So it's carbon, copper, silicone, and iron. That's all easy to easy enough to make. There. Probably we'll just go with the way the wyvern, just because it should be the easiest. Minus these ones that they want you to do. 
Or is there even anyone here that's just a frame? I don't think there's any frames in there. So we'll be doing a wyvern. Send that to the factory. We need the level 7 to use it. Which that's a big oof. We're level 6 right now. I don't know how close we are to leveling. Okay, we're actually pretty far away from leveling. So we're going to have to do like a lot of mining, I think. We go to a new place. We need to... Do they have a... They don't have a... Uh, rot time, so I think we're good. That says three on it. I'm just going to put them in the fridge for now. The uh, herbal things need to go in there as well. Uh, unless we can actually make something out of this. Put that in my inventory, see if we can actually make something. I need to put the rest of that stuff away too. A spare shotgun. A drill. Multi charge, we want to keep for our thing. Shotgun upgrade, we don't need on us. We'll keep that as well. These tokens, we want. To use on a trader, we need to use the herbal. Oh, well, the herbal medicine needs to actually be in here if you want to use it. Nothing there, nothing here. Anything use the herbal leaves. First aid kit needs them, but it needs a whole lot more. A spice as well, plus fire moss and alien thorns, so yeah. We need like a specific. Just, just for doing stuff like that. Let's just put that. Well, it could be the fridge even. Okay, I think we're good there. Maybe even use the fridge so you have these. I can actually, make a hot beverage. From here. Give me the. Give me some of these. And the grain. If everything else is supposed to be in there. I'll maybe take like. Some plant fibers, because we might need them. It would be better if I brought some logs as well. that down there. I don't want this touching stuff if we're trying to be, like, realistic. You don't want that spoiled stuff touching the good stuff. Even with the additions, all we can make is a hot beverage. It's pretty dark out. So the camp and the plantation. So we're going to go to the camp, I guess. See if we get any more stuff. How's the fuel looking on this thing? 26. It's only lost a fuel, so it's actually not that bad. Let's actually go in first person, see if that's easier to navigate with. Nope. Because if you spin at all, I think I have the sensitivity turned way up because you kind of need it to be way up for uh, certain things when you're flying around, so. It's like, oops. Let's just do that. Wait, how did I get turned around and actually am closer to the plantation than I am to the camp? That's weird. I guess let's just go to the plantation then. We should be fine to come here. I'm a 
bit close to them, though, because they might get upset if I start mining. I can talk to that person to continue on with that one quest, I guess. It will change your reputation to unfriendly with faction Talon. Again, I feel like if I try to grab the resource here, they're going to be like, hey, you're not allowed to do that. So I'm just going to play it safe and not touch that anymore, even though I'd really want to. Hello, son. Nice day for some enjoyable farm work, ain't it? Can I help you with something? Check out assignments. What are you offering for trade? Knowledge. Update trading. Select an item from the list on the right left mouse button. And the number of items you want to buy or sell in the quantity box at the left, at the lower left. Select the payment method. Cash or bank account. Press buy or sell button to initiate the transaction. You need at least one neutral reputation to start a trading. Not all traders sell or buy items. Some are specialized. Traders usually accept cash cards, cash or payments from your bank account, blah blah, ATMs. Trading station usually have many different merchants from different factions. Yeah, blah blah blah. Okay, so he has a bunch. Congratulations, you completed PDA chapter trading. So he. All he really has... Why is random crossbow bolts in here without a crossbow? There's fertilizer in here, though. The stock. And you can sell... Oh, I guess he, he wants these things, I guess, maybe, actually. You can sell... Over here. Yeah, it's, this is zero out of whatever. But stock, huge amount. Over here. Maybe this is the only thing it will s buy from you. I don't have any cash. You can sell a bandage just a, a bandage just to see. Okay, that's my bank balance of eleven. So nothing here really costs that much. So let's just assume that's our in our bank forever. Even if it's not, it's fine. Antibiotic ointment. Oh, I actually have that on me. I'll probably regret selling it, but it's fine. I don't have any of these other things on me. I don't think so. We're at what, 24? Do you sell anything for 24? Not really. Steepish thing he'll sell us. 42 for fertilizer. I think that's fine. Let's see. So this is 24 credits in the bank, so let's just hope that sticks. Okay, can I help you with something? For generations, we have been growing grain here and in the other farms and fields. Unfortunately, our seed is deteriorating due to constant stretching. We desperately need fresh samples of the wild form. Unfortunately, they are only available in water and beach zones of the swamp areas. Guarded by dangerous... Teller pods. Will you help us to find samples of the wild grain seed? Uh, accept. Use the quest log and the PDA to manage all of your active quests remotely. Open the PDA and click the tab Soul missions. Click on the drop down arrow of the desired group, e.g., e Talon. Select the entry, quest log. Click at the bottom on active mission and follow the instructions, etc., 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 etc. Guess I'll just keep that like that. What even is that? Access the tub? Oh, I guess it's a. Uh, What you call it? Like a loot thing. So there's the stuff inside of it. Because that was that. We're still wanting to go to the camp, though. As difficult as that's going to be. 
using this terrible vehicle. Okay, we'd be better off using using the motorcycle. But it's fine. Uh, where is the camp now? Okay, camp's this way. Let's aim up and then don't go that fast because honestly I have no choice. As soon as you hit something, you're going to start spinning around like crazy. Okay, here's the camp. This looks like another camp. Also, we're getting the whispers here for some reason. It didn't even give me enough time to read. I think it just says maybe there's some interesting stuff here. Uh, I want to turn this off. Fount, a font of knowledge. There's a floating cube. I think I've seen one of those back in the day. Cotton, plant fibers. Okay, this is just one of these. I will take your stuff though. An axe? Century is this? We're like a century eight billion, and we have a like a regular axe, a regular wood cutting axe. Hello, what the heck? Oh, spiky mushroom consume item. Of course, uh, perish time twenty, health hundred fifty, food one, uh, food is fifty, stamina negative four hundred, market play price average radiation minus one. So because you insignificant amount of radiation. But gives you a big heal and food at the cost of your stamina. And just a fa Phoenix Fern Frond. Okay, the barrels were all one entity. Freaking low texture woodcutter's axe. Antibiotics pill. I can maybe go sell that. can sleep here if we wanted to, but we're not going to do that. Ooh, new Tales of Tosh. Yes. Well, I'm guessing getting one of the medium-sized artifacts. I stepped into some kind of activation area. It, it charged my suit with an unknown form of energy and created a kind of personal code card. Out of nowhere, it is a blank key matrix or is it just key it is a key matrix as the voice told me from the point where this happened i can now also understand the progenitor's language uh pro engitohor means activate the knowledge to ascend the artifact who charged my suit is called font of knowledge which is right over there that's three out of 16. And this device isn't going to tell me anything new. It's going to go over everything we already know. So, font of knowledge. Hello. Matrix taker detected. Oh, we got a video. Matrix taker detected. Configuration. Compatible. Imprint and access permission. Enabled. Key matrix. Generated. Ellipses. Okay, you got plus one key matrix. I don't know how how much was the radiation here? Nine? Oh just a basic nine. Perfectly fine. Where is a key matrix? So we have a key matrix, but it's not in our inventory anywhere. Maybe it's just story related. It did say plus one key matrix. So we could go back to one of the markers. I don't actually the obelisk and that markers. I'm talking like uh, it's dead space. Okay, that was technically a lucrative.
Okay, where's that dumb thing? Gets over there. Okay, we need to go back to the marker, which I'm just going to be calling them now. Plantation. This was the escape pod. This is an obelisk. Science camp is there as well. Have I been to that one before, though? Not that one, not that one. So yeah, it's just... Plantation there as well. That's my thing. So we need to go here to the obelisk. I was going to put a thing there. New marker. Hopefully that stays up on the hood. Yeah, there it is. Okay, lift the nose up and just pray that you hit as few things as possible. The cold space, lift the nose and just pray. I think we're on water right now. Wait, you're flying over the water there, hovering over the water. Of course, that was going to happen. I hope that we actually get to pick up this wood when we do that. Okay, there's the obelisk. I don't know if this is the one I was at before, though. It must be because there's stuff, definitely stuff missing here, yeah. I'll take that spice. And those buds. Welcome, aspirant of the Ascension. Deepen your knowledge and face your test. The portal down here seems inactive. However, there are missions from active teleporters coming from the top of the obelisk. We should investigate everything we find here. If we can find a way up there, this could definitely get interesting. Okay, that's just the door, but it looks like there is... Yeah, this here... Small console. All members of the expedition team report to the responsible base commanders. Maximum alert level applies. Important all vessels. System error. Technician has been informed. Time since message, etc. New Tosh. Storyline. The key matrix opened the obelisk for us. In the lower area, there is a portal that we could not activate, apparently. Uh, cannot activate. Apparently a console and the key we got from the font of knowledge are not enough. The teleports in the upper part of the building lead to the other moons of the gas planet. The others said I should wait for the rein wait for the reinforcements from the academy. Ha. That's all I need. Having to share my discovery with my mother. I've got myself a suit and I'm going to try the upper teleporters. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Alright. And close that, that's 4 to 16. We're somehow doing this, like, in perfect order, I feel like. Uh oh. Oof. Could have broke our legs there. Gotta be careful. How far does this go? These floating orbs. And this is a regular. Gravity elevator. Oh, and then like legitimately teleporters. The different. They're colored differently, so I don't know which one it would be which. Okay, press after teleport to the teleporter. Baron Obelisk at Skillion. Go to. Are we on Akua? We're on Akua. This is Ningwe's, and this is. 
Mesperian. So, we now have a way to teleport to the other planets. Instead of just flying to them directly. So that's cool that you can just do that at the beginning of the game now. That was not in the game when I originally played. But I don't want to... Mess with that right now. We'll do that in a second. We're gonna go back to... Our base, which is... Right... Here. I don't know exactly where that is. There's still another camp, apparently. Straight that way, apparently. Oh, we need to regroup. It's this way, I think. There's no power, because it's a night time. We need, like, actual fuel fuel, instead of just solar panels. Because otherwise we'll end up in situations like this, where we have no power because it's night time. Okay, small generator we actually need to unlock. I don't know all what we need. We need to make this so we need motor electronics carbon oof the carbon kind of sucks i don't know why it's so hard to get carbon substrate do i dare just like dig into the wall like just dig a cave straight ahead it helps that we can get stone Got some crest stone, finally. I wonder if we're just getting it by default now. Okay, good. I think I'm gonna just walk forward. For like a while until we we possibly just cut through the whole mountain. I see that I'm getting close to starving ish. Need to make a drill soon so that I'm always using just this dinky thing. I could have probably cut all the way through the mountain by now if I was using a proper drill. One stone. Hopefully I'm not, like, digging down. Like, I haven't just been going, like, a f 
full diagonally down. I mean, I can look back and see everything out there, so I think I've actually been doing okay keeping this straight. I'll aim it up a bit, but I think we're okay. Make it across this mountain eventually, unless uh, we're just too low by default, and I will never actually make it above ground. You're getting hungry. Guess I know, but I can't make anything. At least I don't think I can make anything. Uh, this gets hunger, right? Hopefully, I don't. Nothing happen. Nothing bad happens. That was okay. We just got a little bit of food. This will eventually come back. Oh, I think stamina is eating my food. So it really is just a heal. It probably gives you enough uh, food to regenerate the stamina that you used to eat it. So overall, we didn't really get that much food back. It's just like a decent heal. Still getting stone. Almost close to the escape pods. I feel like we should hit. Should be hitting ground soon if we ever were going to hit ground. But we don't have that many crushed stones either, just because we're only getting like what one and two at a time here. Also, we're hitting dirt now, so we might actually finally make it to the other side. Hopefully this actually is going to lead out and we're not just digging. Like I'm aiming slightly up because I feel like we're not doing this good enough. Like I need to actually aim up to get out of here. So I thought we weren't ever going to make it out properly. But we like... Where even are we? We actually might have been able to make it out, but we would have hit that rock there. Because the skate pod's not too far away, so we would have possibly almost landed in the thing if we just kept 
somewhat on the right path. Instead of changing to go up a bit later, but that's okay. I, th I at least appreciate having a way to go straight through the ground. Go straight through the mountain instead of having to walk around it. Could probably even fit the bike in here. If you're feeling a uh, risky, I think I'll try to chip that down. Yeah, there, that's better. And then I will put this in the front. It's not light off, see how dark it is down here. Pretty dark. There does seem to be like a lot of tunneling up, because it does look like we're running downwards, not like we didn't specifically take a perfect straight line through this. Like here's the level ground. I mean, you feel like you could see pretty far down there, so I don't know. And just turn that off. And then at night, you can clearly just see that from a while. From a ways away, I mean. I don't know if I want to, like, pull it back a bit. Maybe I'm going to pull it back just a bit. So you have more of the, uh, mountain being lit up at night. Okay, this is, of course, not getting any electricity. Let's turn the lights off so that we can actually have some power. Might as well turn this... no, not that off. Uh, no, those need to be on. Let's check the O2. Some titanium there. Okay, a bunch of water and a bunch of O2. That's good. Give me that. Okay, so we have these. Can you make it look better, O2? I forgot. Water container, steel plate, no. I forgot why I even needed water in the first place. Like, it's completely escaped me now. Uh, nutrient solution, actually, if I remember correctly, is what we were looking for. Which we needed purified water for. As well as spoiled food. And... Stone dust. Which we can make. And then we just need... Put these away for now. Grab... Uh, spoiled food, perhaps? I think we needed that. what it wanted. It did want that. We did this for the planting size, the growing plot. Plot, yeah. So now we have enough to mix this. I think I can make a couple, which I will. I'm gonna have to make more nutrient solution, but that's fine.
So I'm just going to build to the side here. So I can then place them out there. Like so. Then we can go ahead and salvage these blocks. Then we need to plant something that can actually survive in this kind of environment. Stone dust, put that in there. Uh, purified water you can keep, even though that should be in the fridge actually. Keep the oxygen in there too. Put that stuff back. The planks, put that back. Those go in there. Oh, the key matrix allows you to use the progenitor to teleport networks. Do not lose. Um, I, I think you mean do not lose. They need to fix that. You assume that'd be something they would fix quickly, because it's not like that hard of a change. Just change the... Just remove one of those O's. Let's just try and say do not lose, but it just seems like you're saying loose. Okay, which one of you is good? Tomatoes. Crop yield 4. Growth time 80. This delicate sprout will not grow on terrain. You need to... Yeah, fertile. They're supposed to have, like, different requirements, don't they? Bell pepper. We have two tomatoes. So I'm going to go with tomatoes. All that's going to give us is vegetables, but that's fine. Come on, the sun's out already, you solar panels. Come on. Tomato sprout, tomato sprout. I'm going to assume that they will grow. Okay, I think we're gaining energy. Yes, the door is opening by itself. Turn the power off, will it build up energy? I don't think if the power's not on, it won't build up. Okay, I think all of this is good. Probably want to take this with us. I just want to have like just set a little foot on a new place. Where is actually we need to keep those oxygen? I think we need to keep these on us. So we'd like to possibly go to one that doesn't have any atmosphere. Check the map. Actually, we can look. This planet has iron, copper, silicone, and carbon. And then... Let's look at Ning. These other places, please. Cancel. Okay, we're not getting any thing off of that. Here we go, this is what we were looking for. Uh, Ningways has... I can't tell them what those are. Except atmosphere, atmosphere density is that. Breathable, yes. Breathable, no. Breathable, yes. This has whatever that substance is. I have no clue what that is.
You two the creatures hunt each other in constant struggle, and uncontrolled military drones fire on shadows. The oxygen, few ores, just ruins, crumbling in the glaring day, and creatures waiting for you to make their month. A moon of former splendor, wedged between icy and star ice and starvation, both fauna and flora know what to do to survive. I kind of want to go to Mysperian just because it has those extra stuff. There's the same starter things, but then it has that. Whatever that thing is, and then the blue thing, which whatever that blue stuff is. So I need to try and check out whatever's going on there. We need to go to like an actual moon moon so we can get... Uh, Pentax and fuels and stuff, but I think that's what we want to do. We want to go to Mesperian. We're already on Akua. To make spoiled, we can make fried vegetables, which we need to eat. That only requires one vegetable. Put that back into the fridge. Literally, I have not enough energy to run this thing. Okay, thank you. That barely sent us anywhere. I think the fridge is killing the energy because it has to constantly be keeping these things warm since it's using energy. Yeah, this doesn't give us any. This only has a pair time of one, so. I'll drink it, I guess. I really shouldn't be going out with any, like, proper food. There's nothing we can really make. I'm mean, grabbing any protein. I mean, I guess I could just go outside and find protein. There should be protein all over the round out here, so I shouldn't be worried too much. It's over here, I think it's good in the forest this way. Because I thought there was some. There should be all over the place. I guess we could actually take our tunnel to the escape pod, because that is where the... Oh, why was I running this whole time? I just destroyed even more of my food by doing that. But yeah, there should be like a plethora of protein on that planet. Or not on that planet, on that area where the escape pod is. So while we're walking, let's go ahead and make a buttload of energy bars because we need them desperately. Our stamina is stuck around there because I think it's our stamina is dependent on our health, or not our health, our um, food, or hunger. The hunger is so low, we have almost nothing for. Stamina. Okay, let's slightly gradually load. Actually, if I stop moving, okay, I have to stop moving if I want the stamina to build back up. Where's that other one? There it is. Like, why would you ever leave the starting planet? Unless you want to just actually do something. If you just want to, like, hang out, 
Just hanging out on the starter planet, Akua specifically, is just like, why would you ever go anywhere else? It has plenty of food everywhere. It's nice, the temperature is nice. There aren't really that many things that are going to kill you. I haven't seen any of the bad guys yet at all, so... Well, the green seed found, one out of four, press tab. Uh, oh yeah, I did find that. I guess because it wanted me to find grain. There's a bunch around here. I'm super hungry, I need to eat these bars. Oops. There's more protein, I can make a couple more bars. Need one more wheat, so I just need to look carefully in all of this for more of the wheat things. There's one here. Is, will that do it for me? Okay, we got it. Go to the plantation and collect your reward. Thank you. Don't remember what plantation I need to go to. Because there's multiple plantations and none of them are showing up on the map. That's that plantation, and there's this plantation. Maybe it counts as the same thing. Maybe I can just go to this guy, which is directly that way. Okay, we're almost maxed on food. Those are quest item things. I appreciate them being highlighted like that. Okay, I wanted to put the bandages back there. I don't know why I have this water on me still. That needs to go in there. That needs to go there. These and these and that. The copper ore over here. Keep this nonsense on us. That's a key matrix that needs to stay, so let's actually surround that to know that we don't we don't want to lose that. Might even want to keep it in our hot bar just in case. Okay, let's go to this plantation. You know, I really don't want to use this piece of junk, so... If I stop, yeah, it'll fix itself. Because the bike is easier to use because the mouse has no control over how it's aimed. It's just... Oh, we're already here. It's just all keys. Uh, complete quest wild greens. Very nice. Keep up the good work. Complete rewards plus reputation with talent and faction. Quest completed. Got aloe vera sprout. Something else. Maybe I can see it on the stream back. And a bunch of XP. Uh, mushroom sprout. Cool. So aloe vera sprout and mushroom sprout. And we've got a wheat sprout as well, still. Plus that XP. Uh, our money's still there. Oh, they actually want wheat sprouts. We can have that one back, I guess. But 87. Not that I want any of this other stuff, but we can get like... Let's see, we get pumpkins? We could grab another tomato seed. Go with our other tomatoes. I'll buy a tomato seed. Thank you, where did I put the bike? Before it disappears. I almost just grabbed that vegetable pod. Out of habit.
That would have been horrible. This, well, these are sprouts, put them in there. Okay, let's see about making another plot. Can I do that? Nutrient solution. Which, of course, we need the, what you call this? Let's go fridge. What are we missing for the nutrient solution? Rotting stuff? We have rotting stuff in there. We have water. Maybe we don't have enough water? Oh, it's because this place can't make nutrient solution. That's why. No, they can this, right? No, it can. It can, but it's not letting... Because we need stone dust. Oh, we need... Dust, that's why. Give me some of this stone. I guess I can keep the dust. So we need more water, which we can't get, unfortunately. So we're stuck not making another one, but that's fine. I'll keep it in the middle so I know that I want to plant it. Tomato sprout, tomato sprout. Okay, so we want to go back to the camp, which is here. And that is... I can't tell what direction it is. Where am I? Like, I'm so on top of this, I can't see myself. Am I... Okay, I th think I'm looking at the right direction. Yeah, it's that way-ish. We could, like, try to hop through there, but that's going to be, like, criminal. I remember there being cruise control on the controls for this, for these things. Uh, okay, yeah, we're already getting stuck, so forget that. I don't think I even want to use this, so let's just turn it off. Get off. Maybe the bike can get through there. Okay, you have to... I can see the whole world glitching, glitching the whole world out like this. That's fine. I, mean, I could have just ran through here. I didn't have to be lazy and do it like this, but that's fine. We're almost on the other side. Okay, we can almost see the obelisk. Or it's actually showing up on our map. Okay, the bike is acting funny, so we can't really... Do that. See, I'm pushing forward there. I don't know. Like you don't, if I'm ho I'm holding forward and it's like just going backwards, which is weird. Okay, this place was steeper than I had first assumed. Getting around is much tougher than I had thought. Okay, well, it's, it's actually going. Okay, thank God. Okay, hold on. I am, like, about to throw myself off. Yeah, look at that. 
Like, the obelisk is down there, but we have to take, like, an extremely long way around. Probably should have taken a different route to get there. Instead of this way. Nice, hit level 7. You have reached level 7 and can now use your points to unlock starter blocks for the capital vessel or CPU extenders for the small and hover vessels, etc, etc. I would like to go to the skill tree because there is something I needed at level 7. Do I remember what it was? No, but we're going to get it. Force fields. Portable light I wanted. Drill we need. Probably should just buy that just to tap out all the stuff in the miscellaneous section. So this is stops at level 5. Did I buy, I buy these already? I already bought these. I don't know what it was that I wanted. Because it shouldn't have been for any of this stuff. Starter base. Flares, force fields, because there's nothing else there. I, I do not know what I wanted. Multi tool. See, maybe it was just that? Like, doesn't seem right. Seven doesn't exist here. So, gravity generator, offline protection, CPU extension. Maybe I bought it already and I just have forgotten what exactly it was. Yeah, nothing there. Not that. Nothing from the miscellaneous tab. I'm guessing it was just these? Question mark? At least I'm level 7 now, even though I don't know what the heck I wanted. I was going to say, we should be able to just slowly go down the mountain now, but... Okay, no, that was fine. I need, like, a tunnel straight to this place. Yeah, this assault rifle, but it doesn't have ammo really. It has like a clip, and that's it. We're almost out of pistol bullets and shotgun bullets, really, too. I believe you wanted to go to Mesperian, which we have right in front of us. Let's make sure. Yeah, it's the one with all the stuff in it. So I guess let's just go. Am I going to be in another obelisk or is this going to be like a location? Point of interest obelisk on Mesperian. So yeah, same place. This was... Where is this? Hello? Skillion... Asperian... I don't know why it's so weird. Ninguias, and this must be Akua. Yeah, the green one's... Akua. 
the harsher green. So this is a different place, so there should be more stuff here. Oh, it's just a note from Tate. Or Tash, I mean. As I expected, the teleporter worked and materialized me in one piece at my destination. The rooms here are identical to the ones in the obelisk I came from. Four teleporters in the upper room, a portal in the entrance area. I, me I measured the energy flow. It seems that these obelisks are some kind of nodes where a form of unknown energy converges. My measurements also indicate there seems to be a malfunction of some sort. My instruments say that the energy is draining away somewhere. It doesn't seem to be the way it should be. I don't hear the voice anymore, by the way. I don't know if that's a good sign. That was 5 out of 16. Heavy acid rain, that's not good. It says, okay, crashed cockpit. This would normally be used as a place to... Uh, hang out. Is that a raptor? I can't tell if that's like a raptor. It is a regular raptor. Okay, this gun is loaded. There's three of them. There's at least three. Which are already bad. There might be a fourth one there. I can't quite tell what that is. Ah, oh, the acid rain. The fact that I'm running means they might have heard that. I know we're good. Okay, so we already have gone to Mysterian. We're already in deep trouble. So yeah, the difficulty has already heavily increased. We have acid rain and multiple raptors. I don't have any high art, like high damage stuff. I shouldn't be the sniper rifle. I was looking at it, or and I was like, ah, I should probably make one so I can really deal damage. But no. Those raptors aren't going to move. I want to at least take out or investigate that place, but I can't really do that from here. Okay, this thing actually can scroll in pretty far. Big raptor. Big raptor, level 3. Big raptor. Did that raptor die? No, it's just... That's a level 3. That's a level 1. So we actually want to take out... Uh, it was just sleeping. We're going to take out this guy. I think that would be the head there, right? No, it, that was the tail. I'm going to take the one that has the most... Oops. Okay, they don't know where I'm at. So they're just going to let me kill them, I guess. Should check on the other one. Okay, the other one is... Does it know? It's weird that they're acting this way. Fortunate for the game that... Sniping raptors from a distance has them just stand there and let you do it to them. <sighs> it missed, it went high. Maybe I should just sh shoot into it. Okay, I think it's down. Okay, it's down. I think there was only three. Only three that I saw. This meat is going to expire quickly.
Another one. Where the oh, there? How many do I have left? Eleven rounds? Oh, it's a whole nother group of three. Yeah, this place was like super deadly. I'm not gonna be able to do anything here. That'd be like a third group, because why wouldn't there be a third group? It looks like there's aloe here though. Or herbal leaves. Technically. So it's these three here, but that seems to be all of them actually, so if I can somehow play it safe. Like this. I missed a headshot there. Thing okay. Down. Need to get closer. Seems like there's a range aggro range that if they take damage they just don't don't care. Uh, I'm gonna assume he's dead because it went away. Okay, I'm gonna run out of bullets in a second. Shoot. Came out. Hello? They weren't even hostile? Okay. My bad. You'd think raptors would be hostile. That's like how they used to be, like. There's so many different changes now with so many, like, meh hostile enemies. Okay, where's that third one? There it is. Like before, I said in the last video, you would just have like 20 raptors spawn on you and just hunt you down. And here, these guys weren't even hostile. I don't think there's anything up here. Oh, more Tate stuff. Or Tate Tosh, sorry. I have been observing the local obelisk for the last few days. We have place network consoles in all four obelisks and at the camps near the font of knowledge of each moon to not miss any relevant data. I'm pretty sure now. Uh, what we have here is a system that extends over all the moons of the gas giant. It generates a form of energy field. In the moments when the system is stable, the obelisk charge with it and release it in pulses. This then sometimes leads to failure of communication in the vicinity of the obelisk. I'm afraid that if the chain uh, charges become stronger, it might become a problem for equipment. Okay, that was 6 out of 16. A bed to sleep in. This will obviously just be the same stuff. Uh, actually, we can go over this. Literal neutral species. I mean, those raptors weren't really that aggressive. Okay, why does locations be spear and not work? Hello? I guess they haven't added that yet. They've only focused on the one Akua. They haven't flushed out the other planets. Is this count as a core place? It is not. Okay, so we found that. But there's probably more stuff here. There's a switch there, I think. A sensor bar, actually. Oh, oxygen. Uh, just max that out. Okay, it's weird that I can't remove any oxygen. Usually, could just remove oxygen and stuff from those. 
Okay, I think we got gathered everything from this little thing. What is a check for that switch that I thought I saw? There. Oops. I don't know what that opens. Uh oh. Am I stuck in here? Okay, thankfully I wasn't stuck. It goes nowhere. Can't take the oxygen out of this. If you want to be like that, I'll just take it from you, put all the oxygen back into the atmosphere. Now, because these places don't really mean much, you can just like steal materials. I need these materials, so. Also, leave the place like flammable. Or should just be in salvage. I probably should grab the antenna. Oh, I should take this, actually. Take the antenna on top of the... building that should have some different pieces in it. Oops, I actually did what I said I wasn't going to do. Okay, the internet dropped for a second. I think we're good. Yeah, we're fine now, thankfully. Okay, I need to try to get up there. Good. Where is that antenna? There it is. Okay, yeah, they gave us a bunch of stuff that I wanted. Usathium. That's not something we can could have gotten elsewhere. I appreciate all the steel plates. That's glass, we want that. Oh, this is the main room. Okay, I was just checking to see if I misclick does it count. It does count as wasting material. Oh, the core, hello. I can't access this, so give me that core. The console still works, though. I want to get rid of the cargo box, but it is kind of like in the middle room, but eh, just give it to me. Okay, I think we're okay. That's kind of floating, but don't worry about that. Electronics, thank you. Don't want to touch this machine, though. Somehow that this stuff counts as steel, because I think it's colored to look like wood. But isn't actually wood. Hey, hold on, this is like plant stuff. Ooh, free nutrient solution. Thank you, don't mind if I do. Also, I'm just tapping the button, that's why this is like, like this, I could just be holding it out. Like that, but I don't want to waste material on accident, in case I don't let go fast enough. 
Can I? Yeah, you need the actual survival weapon or a drill to get this stuff. Stone, thank you. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a hydroponics thing up there that I missed. Somehow, come on, let me up there. Can I just. Ah, I can't hit it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to climb this. Yeah, that doesn't count as ladder, as a ladder. I can't even jump up and hit it. That sucks. It's getting around, I would assume. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up there. That was like a sprinting run, too. If I go this way, I try to jump over that way. Good. There. Thank you. Oh, there's a light there. I'll take that. Optical fiber. Okay, I think we're good. We don't have to take any of the rest of this stuff. Chemical components. I'll take that, though. There's a ladder so it stops taunting me, because it's not a real ladder. Okay, that's pretty good just going ahead and... Okay, something, something, and a bunch of resources, but I think we're going to go back. So I'd like to end already. We've been going for an hour and 43. That's... Perfectly fine by me. We can, like, maybe check. Actually, we're gonna walk this way. Hope for the best. So I'm hoping I can just walk this way, activate whatever this resource is, and then. It's, it was just silicone, okay. Get me out of here. We actually see uh, a Kua in the sky. It doesn't look like it. Not from where we're at currently in the time. I think the gravity might be different here too. There's also different levels of gravity in the game. I wasn't noticing it earlier, but I was like kind of getting some big jumps whilst uh, going around. This is Akua. If it, like, loads, yeah. Oh, like, one a trip to Akua, please? I like this new, like, beginner teleporter system. I feel like before, you just had to leave the planet by a spaceship instead of teleportation. I kind of just wish I had a base near here instead. Oof, I almost broke my legs. Okay. Show on HUD. Waypoint. that way. So I need to get over there, which if I had the other thing, we could have done much easier. Okay, get the bike. Let's see if we can even just go this way. Looks 
I don't feel like I'm very high up right now, so... I assume I'm fine. I think this is the water, right? Yeah, this is the water here. We could make a swim for it. Let's make sure our hands are empty. I think we can... Go that way. Oh wait, I forgot. Uh, uh, what the heck? No oxygen. My helmet not on. My helmet should be on because the shoulder lamp is on. Okay, now the helmet's on. I just started like suffocating instantly. I forgot you can get pentax or whatever from down here. Also, how am I breathing? Is it just a rebreather on the helmet, or what? Is this Pentax or fuel? Promethium stone. Wrong thing. I forgot this stuff spawns in water. Oh, there's like protein in here. 1,000? What do you mean 1,000? I'm actually using oxygen. Look like a drill. I don't remember it being this difficult to obtain before. Also, for some reason, there's a current in this pond? This is a stagnant body of water, is it not? Why is my always constantly being moved to the side? Jesus Christ. I wonder if I'm even going to pick this stuff up. With how long it's taking to get. A Promethium ore, like, jeez. I don't think it's worth trying to pick up any more of that right now. Yeah, I need to remember that Promethium spawns... ...can spawn in water. Pentax as well. So yes, Pentax is down here. For some reason, fuel is always underwater for some reason. Are you anything? Not a lot of hit points. I think this is just wood that's like spawned underneath the ground, yeah. Take that vegetable. There's nothing in the because we didn't, we didn't put any fuel. Oh, there's actually a few more things still in there. All right, thank you. We need. I actually needed that water, so that works. You can see Mysperion in the distance. Okay, take all these components. Oh, I actually accidentally, accidentally just took a whole block because I was using these pick up blocks function on the multi-tool sometimes at the beginning there. Put that in there. Want that. I even put that raw pentax in there as well. Oh, we need to get this meat in the fridge like now. It has like three seconds left. I'll actually cut this stone up, put some of that in there. Get vegetables, all oh, the water too. Then let's put the nutrients here maybe. Or maybe I shouldn't have done that, because we actually have the parts to make that stuff there. We'll just keep this block on us. But on us, I mean over here. Do I have any power left at all to be used? I actually have zero power because it is nighttime and just having it on causes it so... We need to make a generator, like I need to stop making messing around and just... I have a generator. A proper fuel based gen.
the motor electronics and carbon substrate. What was it that I wanted to make? Well, we need meat to make what you call it, so I might as well just take that meat and make some grilled stuff before it perishes, because it's like three minutes to die. So just make as many meat as I can with this. We'll just have to wait for it to become daytime, but we can now make Promethium pellets, which then we can make Promethium cell. We can actually have proper fuel for once in our lives. This requires A ore to make 10 pellets, I believe. And 10 pellets is one fuel cell, so... Actually, hold on, no, get rid of this. Okay, I forgot how to stop. Well, that, I guess we have no choice but to leave it in there because I can't cancel it from being made. You can't cancel the one, so that'll go make the pellets, and the pellets will then go into that. Whenever it becomes daytime, which we could just force it. I don't know why I'm not doing that. Did I sleep until it was like nighttime? At least have wood, not wood, um, some power, I guess. Did I eat up all the. No, I accidentally used two. Because. The pellets need to be in here. Okay, we're keeping these fuel cells on me. That makes two of them at a time. Oh, it's spoiled? What? It's spoiled before it could be made into food? Are you kidding me? Ugh. Look at all this stuff spoiling. Ugh. I need another crop plot, so... I actually need to make that. So let's go to the fridge, and we can make it from the fridge. Got a wood one. Okay, thank you. Set this back to that. Get this other crop plot. Then get the tomato seed. They're getting there. Put that down. Put this down here. And we're good. Oh, they're actually... Thievery, before you collect the fruit from a shrub or loot, an unauthorized, unintended box in an uninhabited facility. Make sure the residents are okay with it. If not, you will see a red message in the field of view. Most species react unpleasantly to theft, and you will ruin a good reputation. This is my stuff. This is what I'm talking about. I can't even gather my own crops on my own own base because this counts as their territory. So, oof. That's annoying here. We're back to neutral if we were under it.
Okay, we're still neutral, thankfully. But it's really annoying that I can't even grab my own crops just because I'm in their area. I This is my house, this is my plot, and yet I have to make them angry from picking up my own stuff. Like, I'm the one growing this stuff. You did... You had nothing to do with this. Okay, so I want to... We can go, like, crazy now because we have all these vegetables. Because you make protein out of vegetables, right? Yeah. So long may last a while, right? Yeah, it's a parish time of 166. So it's one of the better things. I think canned food is, like, some of the best. So canned vegetables is vegetables, water, and spice. And then rations are like the best thing. Because they have no perish time. Water, meat, spice, vegetables, water, spice. Meat requires a protein and a vegetable. To make protein, you need a vegetable. So that's. Uh, one... Let's make two. I'll put count two. So it's one and then two. So it's two vegetables to make meat. And then... Four vegetables to make this. Plus water plus four spices. So it's actually more lucrative to make vegetables than meat. Because meat requires one... Or canned meat requires one water, four vegetables to make the meat, and then four spice. Well, it's, yeah, it's a vegetable and protein, you're using a vegetable to make the protein, so that's two vegetables per meat to make that four vegetables, four spice, one water, whereas this is four vegetables, one water, two spice. So you're saving two spice by going this way if you don't have any... Uh, meat to just be made. If you have meat, well then make meat, but if you don't, you need to go with the vegetables. We can make two of these, I believe. We not, might not have enough power to fuel this. We have 19. Let's turn them off. They'll, they gave us one more minute. Okay, nice. So we have that to be eaten whenever we need food. I mean, I can eat it now, but I don't want to waste it on that. Uh, what else can we make here? Cereal requires grain and milk. Do we do we have a bottle of milk? Milk must be plant protein and purified water. So that's a vegetable and one water. Flour out of two grain. And flour can be made into bread, which is the flour and water. I can make a bread and eat that. I don't want to touch these. Wasn't too bad. I still have more green. I could just make more bread, but it's wasting all the water. Probably should be making more bread. Yeah, I need to get rid of the grain. The grain was going to perish soon, so I had no choice but to do that. Okay, that's good. Then that. Though this is going to run out of power soon.
Oh no, we still have power left. It says a minute and 42 somehow. I don't know how, since it's night time. Yeah, I think I'm good leaving it there. See so yeah, you guys, uh, thanks for watching. Remember to buy my stickers or just go to my coffee or watch these videos all the way through because I'm working on watch time at subscribers. See so yeah, you, thanks for watching. To the next episode, like, subscribe, comment, you have to do. See ya.